This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to demonstrate a list of values query. A list of values query is similar to an OR type query, where we have multiple criteria and a compound operator that we want to use is OR. Remember, OR means that we're happy if one of the criteria is met. They don't all have to be met. So let's say I wanted to find all my customers in Holland, Rockford, and Saugatuck. One way to do it, as you've previously learned, is to type in our city column. And notice I have the customer table open in my query design screen. Here are all my fields. I go to the city column, type in Holland, and in the OR box, type in Rockford, and underneath in the next OR box, type in Sagatuck. So I'm saying I want to see all the customers that are in Holland or Rockford or Sagatuck. And if I run the query, you can see all those customers in those cities show up. Now I'm going to show you a different way to do it. So I'm going to go back to my query design screen erase these criteria, and then show you the list of values method. In the list of values method, you click in the criteria box, and to give yourself some room, you can right click and zoom in. The zoom just gives you more room to type in your criterion. With a list of values, you type the word in, a space, and then in parentheses, you type all the values that you want the computer to look for. If they're text, you can type them in double quotes to indicate their text. If you forget the double quotes, the computer will put them in for you. So I'm typing in Holland, Rockford, Sagatuck, closing my parentheses. So I'm saying, find all those cities that are in this set, Holland, Rockford, or Sagatuck. Click OK. Notice that criterion is put down here in the criteria box. I could widen the column to see the whole thing, but I know what I've just typed in. So I will run the query, and up appears the Holland, Rockford, and Sagatuck customers. So another way to do an OR type query without doing an actual OR using the OR boxes is to do a list of values type query.